If you have ever taken a martial arts class, prior to your first match against a person, they typically have you practice on a practicing dummy. Many of us do the same thing when learning Linux. You know, for example, you start the Linux VM, the dummy in this case, on your choice of operating system. Learning networking in Linux with your actual networking interfaces can be dangerous. This is another place where dummies can be helpful and Linux has your back. This is B from Taytalk Tech and today I'm going to show you how to create a dummy interface in Linux with just two commands. So stick with me. I've got a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Make sure you let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments below. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video. Make sure you catch all of the examples. So let's go ahead and dive in. So dummy interfaces are great. Uh, they allow you to practice things like adding IP addresses, MAC addresses to interfaces without having to disrupt the functionality of your system's internet connection. Uh, true story, before I knew about Linux networking and dummy interfaces, I had on more than one occasion actually nuked my entire networking configuration and then just reinstalled the OS, which took a lot of time. In the moment, it seemed like it was going to save me time, but in the long run, it's actually cost me more time. So it's a great way to get yourself some practice so that you can save yourself a little bit of time later on. Uh, there's two methods for creating dummy interfaces. Uh, they're going to be persistent versus non-persistent. Persistent just means that it survives reboots. Non-persistent means that it does not survive reboots and is only good for the, the time that the system is up. If you're spending an extended amount of time, you know, learning Linux networking, uh, you may want to create a persistent one. If you just need to test something, you know, one time a non-persistent interface would be better. Let's actually get into the two methods now. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink my face. There we go. All right. So the first command that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and use the IP command. We're going to do, and if you've ever run IP address, it's just, this is a the same command, just um, with a different option. So we're going to do sudo IP link add, and then we're going to call it dummy zero. We're going to put the name here, and we're going to put type dummy. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and actually go over what's going on with this command here. So this right here, sudo, of course, we got to ask it nicely. We're going to need uh, elevated privileges to go ahead and do any kind of um, internet uh, IP um, configuration. Then this right here is link because we're making changes to a link. So we want to go ahead and put IP link. And then we're going to put add because we're adding a link. And then we're going to give it a name. I'm just calling it dummy zero. And then type is going to be dummy because that's exactly the type of interface that we are creating. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. And then now if we run the IP address command, you can see all the way down here at the bottom. I know I'm covering up just a bit here at the end, but we can see dummy zero right there. So pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead now and talk about the persistent method. So doing the persistent method, we're going to use network manager to go ahead and set that up. So we're going to do sudo. Uh, NMCLI connection. And then we're going to do an add. And then we're going to do type. And then we're going to do dummy. All right. And then we're going to do IF name. And then we're going to call it dummy. Whoops. All right. So let's go ahead and go over this command here. So sudo, of course, we're asking it nicely because we need those elevated privileges. NMCLI is, is how we in, interact with uh, Network Manager. And then connection is where we're doing something with an actual connection on the system. And then we're adding a type of co a connection and we're doing a type of connection of dummy. And then the interface name is going to be or IF name is going to be dummy one. So pretty easy command. So let's go ahead and actually execute here. And perfect. We can see that it was successfully added. Now let's go ahead and IP address. And Boom, it's right there at the bottom. See, we've got two of them. Now, let me actually show you something here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, so a sudo reboot. It's gonna take me out of there. We're gonna have to give it just a bit of time here to go ahead and uh, reboot the system. And I wanna show you, just confirm for you that the dummy zero interface is no longer there. All right, and hopefully that should be done. Let's give it just a second here. All right, we're still waiting, we're still waiting. I'm gonna pause while we're waiting. And there we go, we are back. 
go ahead and put our password in. Perfect. And then we clear this out and we're gonna do IP address. And it's gone. See, now all we have is dummy one. So there, we just confirmed that it only, um, that the first method that we used only does single use and then the persistent ones are done with the second method. So pretty cool, right? Now go off with confidence knowing that you will not nuke your internet connection. No, no guarantees. But if you follow the steps in this video, you shouldn't have any issues with that. If you like this video, uh, check out the other videos from my channel. Uh, check out this other, I'm sorry, this other video from my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.